Hey what's up guys, Stefan here. Today I'm going to teach you how to implement the Machina MK3 within Reason 9, 9.5 and 10. Um, I believe it's the same for all three softwares I just mentioned and it should be the same for earlier versions too but I can't be 100% because I do not own them. This also works for the Machina MK2 because the MK3 and the MK2 both use the same software. Step one is to put your Machina into MIDI mode. So on the MK3, that's Shift plus Channel. Um, on the MK2, it may slightly differ. So it might be Shift F1, like on the micro, so on and so forth. And then we need to change the pad page to pad page D, D for Delta. On the MK3, it's as simple as pressing the D pad. On the micro, you hold the group button and then press the 16th pad. Step two, we need to create a new control surface within Reason. So none exists for the MK2 or MK3 within Reason for um, at least whilst recording this video. So we're gonna use the Akai settings uh, for the time being. So we can head to Reason, Preferences, Control Surfaces, Add, and then here select Akai and then the LPD8. We then want to set the import to Machina MK3 virtual input. Click learn and hit a pad on your machina for this to come up automatically. We can then set the output to the same, however, we only need the import. And finally, step three, inside of Reason, add a new Machina 2 plugin, add your drum group, click on this icon here, select group, input, and change the key mode to drum kit and we're good to go. So now you can see we can play and record the sounds from the Machina into Reason's Arrange window. If you want to take it a step further and put each drum element on its own channel, then head to the video on screen right now. If you skip to about the 2 minute 50 mark, then you can get the tutorial on that. I also touch on fixing the velocity of each of your pads as well. All right, guys, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, be sure to put it down in the comment section below. I've been Stefan, and as always, happy beat making.